Now we're going to look at a lesson from our Max Maths Primary Student Book 5 on factors. Factors is a tricky topic because a lot of teachers will find it's very hard to visualise. How do I show my children how factors look? You know, what are factors? And so one question from the book shows us that we have 12 counters. And I might ask my children, can you make as many different rectangles as possible with the 12 counters? So children might start off with something like this, making rectangles like I've done here by using all of the 12. So I can see that I've got a rectangle like so. So this is one rectangle. And we can see that all together we have 12 and we have four going across and three going down. And we can say a factor of 12 is four and another factor of 12 is three. Are there any other ways to make a rectangle with 12? Maybe we can have something like this. Just one straight line of 12. So what are the factors here then? We can see that we have 12, like so, by one. So the factors of 12 here is 12 and one. So we had four and three as a factor, 12 and one as another factor. Are there any other factors of 12? Maybe some of our children will do something like this. Another rectangle, but this time the rectangle has six going across twice. So another factor of 12 is six, and there's twos here. So another factor of 12 is two. So we have all the factors. A lot of the times we tell our pupils factors come in pairs. So we can see the pair here, six and two. And so using rectangles and counters to make rectangles for different numbers shows a clear and visual way of seeing factors. And you can see why they come in pairs too. So we've looked at factors and now we're gonna look at another type of number and the factors of that type of number. We have a few counters here in front of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven counters. I might ask my class, can you make different rectangles like we did with 12 counters, with seven counters? How many different rectangles can you make? And children in the class may start to do something like this, start to make a rectangle, but then they realize, ah, there's one sticking out. Ah, I can't make a rectangle with that one. So maybe I can do it in a different way. Maybe two, like something like this. Oh, still one sticking out. How can I do this? There's always one sticking out. There's only seven counters. So they might say, oh, we can't do this. It's impossible. But give them a bit more time, allow them to play a bit, a bit longer. And they will have something like this, a rectangle, which is a seven by one rectangle. And so are there any other ways of making a rectangle with seven counters? No, this is the only way. Some children may do this, which is the same rectangle, but rotated. So we can come to a conclusion that the factors of seven is only two, seven and one. But the other numbers we looked at, there were more than two factors. And I might ask a question like, can you think of any other numbers that only have two factors? Can you think of any other numbers that have two factors other than seven? And then we can look into that as an investigation. And that might be a lesson, a starting point on prime numbers.